Hello everyone, today we will be seeing how to update our DST time zone version in an 11G R2 or a 12C database. We will be following this doc ID to proceed with. So this is prepare and then upgrade on an Oracle RDBMS 11201 or higher database to the latest RDBMS DST version installed in it. So uh, how do we find our latest RDBMS DST version in the in our database? Let's log into our database and connect as sysdba first and then let's run the command select version from v$ time zone file. So let's go to our database server. So we are here in our database server. Let's log into our database and run the command to check the version so the version is 11 and we need to also check the as given in the document so the dst time zone version uh, tt version is 11 the secondary tt version should be 0 and upgrade state should be none as per the document uh, you can see below it is given there that the dst time zone tt version should be same as the current DST version, the secondary DST TT version should be 0 and the DST state should be none. So let's go ahead and now let's download our DST with which we will be upgrading our time zone. So the document can be used only till 11, uh, 12 to 01 release and for subsequent 18C or 19C releases the time zone upgrade scripts are already included in Oracle Home under RDBMS admin directory. So you, you need to take care of it till 12C, 12 to 01. Upgrading the time zone on Oracle release post post 12 cr2 you need to download this script and i have already downloaded it and kept in our uh, server this is under these are the scripts which i have uh, unzipped and kept in here now this is optional but we will be running it we will need to run either tstz.sql or tstt count star or count stars tst set and remove unneeded tst uh, time zone data to reduce the time needed to run our upgrade time zone check script so now let's log into our database and run our count stats time zones script I am just spooling it as given in the document and you should uh, also spool it so that you have your log created every time so this has been run now I am just pulling it off then let's purge the log because for most databases the biggest amount of data that is affected by DST is the DBC, DBMS scheduler tables. So we need to purge the table first. So I am purging it. Now if you want you can run this to reduce the number of rows if needed so let me see for me since this is a uh, test database and only been uh, created for uh, uh, for the demo purpose so i do not have extra some anything added so there won't be any changes in the number of counts and all in here so let's see what happens 
after we run our history retention script. All stats will also be run if you if it's needed. I'll just check. So these are same. Let's go ahead and run our script, which is to change our time zone, database time zone. Let's pull it again. So right now, we got a new RTBS version, DST version is already detected and note that no DST update was yet done. So restart the, after we apply our upgrade tzz apply to SQL, the database will be restarting twice and that is also written in here that if the successful run will show the same thing as was as it was given in our server. Now, let's run our main script to apply the patch and this will restart our database twice. I forgot to spool off, so I just spool it off and then spool off my check.sql script. I just spool it off and will spool again. So you can see that uh, restarting the database in upgrade mode to start the DST upgrade it is running. So now the database is shutting down for the first time. It's starting again and it will again shut it down once again. It will again restart it. It's upgrading all the sys own time zone data and it may take some further in output is seen and it's restarting the database as I told earlier to upgrade non sys time zone data. And right now it's starting again. So your new server DST version is DST 14 as you can see in here that is successfully it uh, the DST update is done and we need to make sure that we exit the SQL session and do not use it for time zone related selects. You can see all the log in here and you need to spool off also. The total number of failures during update is zero and uh, this has been changed, uh, the DST version is changed to 14 and it, the update is successfully over and we need to make sure that we exit our SQL plus session and, this, and it is also shown in there that uh, successful run will show this at the end.
Now we do not uh, need to go ahead with this because if the script hangs then you need to perform uh, these steps since in here our uh, script did not hang so we need not perform these steps at all. So can uh, we, if you want you can go through the document ID and you can uh, do it on your own also how to proceed further. So I just exited our, our SQL plus session and I will just run the script again run this uh, 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 SQL to check our DST version let us check the DST version right now from our video dollar time zone file so the current version has been changed to 14 previously it was 11 let me run this script also and check whether showing perfectly or not so it's perfect so that is all about today's session so if you like the video please do subscribe and share thanks a lot